we've got everything cut out, we're going to start putting these together. Um, I've got one here already put together. Worked pretty good. This is going to be our frame right here. It ain't that much to it. We're going to need two of these. Uh, may add one extra one for strength, but we're going to need at least two of these per trap. So we're going to go ahead and stick two or three of these together. Show you all how we're going to do that. Flush the corners. Square it good. Hold it in place. Put about four brads in each one of them. We're good and square. Hold that down. That's it. That's the frames. All right, these regular frames, don't forget these are about an inch thick and they're inch and a half or so wide from top to bottom here. So it really doesn't matter. I mean, these could be two inches, inch and a quarter. It doesn't matter. It's just this side here, these are about an inch wide. Right at an inch. So, got those made and ready to go. All right, we got our first flue here we're gonna get started on. We got all the little fingers over here. And we got the flue laid out like it's gonna go. And I know it's gonna be right. I double checked everything, make sure I got these angles turn right because when I set these in there they're going to be setting angling in like this so we know all that's right so all we want to do is just square this up just just like the other one hold that down Safety first. Yeah, safety first. I'm going to hold that one there. Put one staple in that one real quick. Okay. the same thing on this other side right there get my fingers out of the way and put that one in place and that's fine right there okay so those look pretty good I'm gonna double check real quick so I'm gonna go ahead Nail these out real quick. So I'm pretty sure I got them where I want them. See how this is going to lay out. This one out. Okay. Okay, there's two sides. Put one a piece in each one of these. That way, 
We can line it all up like we want. Those look pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and staple those out. pretty good for the first flu I've ever built. That's the front tickler throat. It's a pretty good shot of it from the side right there. I'm, I'm happy with that one. That's going to be a good opening for the front of the trap for the fish to go in. They get in here, get to messing around, smell that cheese, and they'll go on in it. But that's a pretty good, uh, pretty good lick right there. having to make an adjustment. I was wrong. I thought these were going to be 12 and a half degrees on the angle. And as it turns out, it's going to be closer to 17 and a half is about what we're going to end up. I mean, 15 degrees is going to put us more like that. have a coke can in it. That's going to be about how we want it right there. I think we can live with that. Okay. far so good. Alright, what I'm going to do here, and this is what I was talking about, about being able to have 20 inches uh, length on these fingers, is you can adjust this. So, what I'm doing here, 
I'm also adjusting these cracks back here. I don't want real big cracks because I don't want my cheese coming out of there. So I kind of want to push this up here until these fingers are kind of together in there. Like so. Pretty good on those right there. I'm gonna flip it over and do the opposite side. Finish it up. I'm pretty happy about that. That's gonna be the last one, so get it stapled in there. We don't worry too much about this overhang down here. We can take a saw and trim all that off. Main thing is that that in there looks right. And we're gonna trim that just a little bit open that up and that's gonna be it so basically we'll just saw them all off right here i think that'll do it's not perfect but that's close enough i've seen them worse i've seen them better i like that that's gonna be pretty good See right there? It's gonna be about right. Go right through there. When this hits the water and these flues get soft, 10 pound catfish go through that sucker right there. We will see.